right, super cool video today that has to do with these compressed air tanks. There's a lot easier way to do it, I found out, than having to modify all that and do it all like that. See my previous videos on how to make these. It's kind of dark in my shop, bear with me. Let me show, go over and show you what, what the deal is. So, we've all seen one of these. Pressure regulator hose off a of barbecue. You can find these all over the place. Trash day, go around, take them off barbecues. They're sitting on the curb waiting to go off. And here's what you, what, what you want is this adapter. And uh, this is, here's, here's a good one to show you. So what they've done to regulate this is there's that little tiny pinhole right down there. And that's how they're regulating the gas. And what you want to do is drill that out all the way from to the other side with a drill bit. And it's brass, it'll drill pretty easy. You can take it out with a three-quarter inch socket if you want and drill it from both sides. And once you get that off, drilled, I should say, you want to take it off and you wind up with this. How cool is that? And here's mine drilled out. So now I can put as much air through that as I want without having to modify anything on the propane tank. Because now, I can put that on, and I'll give you a quick demo, and that, uh, what this brass valve is, is a safety valve. When you screw this on, it dep depresses the, uh, uh, a retainer here and allows the gas to come out. Now look at what I got. Full force gas. And what's cool about this is now I don't have to wash these tanks out either and devalve them because I can just exchange the air, let all the gas out and exchange the air three, four times and there will be absolutely no dangerous gas left at all. By the way, this is the emergency pressure blow off. It's rated to 345 PSI. That's how much you can put in this tank before it even sets the emergency blow off. So imagine how much compressed air you can put in there. I bet you I could fill this and probably fill up four standard car tires just in the compressed air in this. And this is what's so cool about this, this compressed air project to build. So you can have portable air anywhere. How cool is that? And there you go. I don't know if you guys can see through it, but... And this is a standard fitting. With this, I can go right to... My battery's running down. i got to hurry. A standard black pipe half-inch fitting. Screw this in. I'm trying to do it with one hand here. And then, then look at what I can do. I can make any stem on there I want going to a valve, uh, uh, a quick coupling, an air gauge, whatever I want to do. There's nothing I have to do to modify the tank. It's ready to go. Boom. And uh, you want to make sure you have a modern tank or you're going to need the old style adapter, which is the insert. See, this one goes in. The modern one's got the threading on the outside, which is what I've used. So there you go. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for subscribing. I'm going to be doing lots more uh, project videos now that I'm all done with vacation and everything for the summer. Thanks for bearing with through some of those boring videos I know. Take care. See you next time.